Welcome back everybody. This is Malik. It is Chuck. And I'm glad that Hack This Site is back up and running again. It seems to be working okay now. They had some issues earlier today, but uh, we want to go ahead and bust into realistic mission number four. Okay, so here we go. This is Fisher's Animal Products. So, FAP is a company that slaughters animals and turns their skin into overpriced products, which are then sold to rich bastards. Help animal rights activists increase political awareness by hacking their mailing list. Alright, so let's go in, take a quick look at it, what we need to do, and then we'll talk about what we need to know to get through it. So we got a message from Save the Whales. It says, I was referred to you by a friend who says you know how to hack into computers and websites. I was wondering if you could help me out here. There's a local store who's killing hundreds of animals a day exclusively for the purpose of selling jackets and purses of their skin. I've been to their website. They have an email list for their customers. I was wondering if you could somehow hack in and send me every email address on that list. I want to send them a message letting them know of the murder they're wearing. Just reply to this message with a list of the email addresses. Their website is here. Okay, so standard old page here, old mailing list where they can put in their email address and click add to list and then two links for their fur coats and their alligator accessories. So let's take a look at, let's do some reconnaissance. Let's take a look at how their page works and then we can figure out where they're vulnerable. So let's do this first. Let's put in a real email address. So malik at me.com. Okay. Email added successfully. Alright, that's perfect. That's fine. Now, let's try this. What if I just do this? What if I don't put in what looks like an email address? Uh oh. Okay. Calling an error is perfectly fine. Calling an error where you give the user some information they do not need is amateurish. Hey, <laughs> we didn't put in a real email. Well, the error message they sent back, it says error inserting into table email. Email not valid. Please contact an administrator. Well, what they did there was basically let us know that the table name that the emails go into is called email. Well, thanks for that handy bit of information. So you just write that down. Table name is email. We're going to need that later on. This also lets us know, we probably would have figured it out before because of the PHP and all that stuff, but they are running SQL most websites do to capture information. The data is stored inside of a SQL database. When data is stored inside of a SQL database and you want to get it, you perform a SQL injection. So this is what we need to do. We need to figure out how to do a SQL injection. So, so far we know that the table name is email. Okay, let's take a look at one more thing and then I'll, I'll give you some things to, to kind of research real quick and then we're going to bust this thing wide open. Let's take a look at their pages. Fur coats. So we'll go into fur coats. If we take a look at the URL at the top, it says products.php category equals one. And here's our fur coats. Okay. Well, let's go back and let's take a look at alligator accessories. Okay, if we take a look at the page, the page is still called products.php, but their category is two. What this is telling us is that all of their data is being stored in a database. Because both of these pages that we looked at, although they look completely different, is really the same page. The page does absolutely nothing but when you click on that link on their first page 
when you click on this link, this is category one. This is category two. Well, when you click on it, what it does, it actually queries the database. And it tells the database to return to them back a certain number of columns, put them in a certain spot, but just for category one. So we're not going to see any category two stuff here. If we did the alligator ones, of course it would say category two, which means the category one stuff doesn't show up. It's a nice way to build a page because you build one page. Whenever they have another coat to sell, they just throw it in the database. They put it as category one, so there's probably a column that says category. They put category one, they put the description, they put the price, they put the picture, some other stuff, who knows, and it automatically drops on the page. But it, you know, this is kind of wimpy here with the whole category one thing, because not that we need it for this mission, but just to show you, um, we can do things that we call parameter tampering. You can change that to category two, and you will get new information. Jeez, okay, the site's starting to slow down. There we go. There's our alligator stuff. You know, maybe they have some hidden categories. Who knows? Maybe we could do a category three and something would show up. They don't have anything here, but who knows? That's what we call parameter tampering. Okay, so we know that they're pulling everything from a database. What we need to know, we need to find out a couple of things. We know the table is called email. We need to know how many columns this thing has. And we need to pull information from it. So the biggest thing you need to do some research on if you're not comfortable with SQL is of course understanding what a SQL injection is. And I'm going to give you uh, I think three words that you really need to take a look at. When you look at SQL injections, take a look when you're reading up on it, the phrase order by. Also, take a look at the phrase union. And take a look at the phrase null of the word null. That one throws people. So, order by, union, and null. The rest of them you're going to run across when you do any sort of research on SQL injections like select and stuff. You're going to see those everywhere. But they're your big ones. Okay, so I'm going to give you a little dramatic pause here. We're going to come back and we're going to start breaking into this thing and getting some information that we're not supposed to get. So here's your pause. Okay, so if you did your research on the SQL injections and you, you took a look at order by, what order by does, it's used to sort the records that come out of a table by the column number that you give it. So if we just append onto the end of this, because remember this is nothing but a query from the table. If we change this to order by one, okay. we'll get a page. Well, how about order by two? We'll get a page. Pictures changed, or the order of them changed, I should say. The pictures didn't change. Remember, the alligator shoes used to be up here but now they're down here because we're ordering by a different column. Now how about order by three? There we go. Changed again. How about order by four? Changed again. Don't worry about how it changes, just that you still have something. Order by five. Oh, nothing. No page. 
Well, the only way that we can't order by a column is if there is no such column. So what we just found out was that there's only four columns in this table. And we did that just by passing order by, order by, order by, until you finally get nothing back. And then you just back up one number. So we know we have four columns. Okay, this is the part that is a little tricky for some people when they're not used to SQLs. Uh, we're going to do what we call a union select. We're going to do we're going to add on to the oops I want my category there it doesn't matter what the category is it could be one or two it doesn't matter I'm going to say union all select select everything from columns one two three and four I'll wait for it to return some information. Here's some information. Let's see what I got. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Information. Information. Information it does not want to show me on this page. Information it does not want to show me on this page. Well, what could that possibly be? Okay. Now. We, look, we took a look at all four columns. It is showing us this is apparently a column, or well, this could come from somewhere else, but this is going to be part of the column. This will be part of the column. We're getting all this stuff, but somewhere down here, it brought in another picture, which could be one or four, we don't know, but it brought in two and three, which for some reason they're telling it not to show on this page. Well, let's figure out why. What we can do, the stuff that we don't need, and this is where sometimes it takes trial and error, but that 2 and 3 down there, they're not showing us for some reason. So we want to see them. The things that you're okay with not seeing, in this case 1 and 4, because apparently one in four is a big hairy fur coat and the, the price we don't care about that so we're going to turn that from the number to the word null basically means not applicable null does not mean zero just means it's not applicable I don't care about it now should I do two or three? Eh, let's say we do two. I'm going to change two to an asterisk, which means show me everything inside of that column. Three, I'm going to turn to null. And four, I'm going to turn to null. So it reads union all select null comma asterisk comma null comma null. But we have to add something else in because watch what happens if I hit enter. I'm going to get nothing. Remember when that 2 and 3 showed up on the page, something's telling it not to show. Okay, well there's a reason something's telling it not to show. I'm going to put this back. Because it's coming from somewhere else. It's coming from uh, another table. Remember that table name we found out earlier? Add that onto the end of it. From email. Let it load the page and scroll down. There's your emails. Now, just to show you the way they wrote this one, you could have nulled 
two, or three. The only difference would be if you would have nulled the third column, the email addresses would have came back bolded because it would have put it in this section instead of this section. It doesn't matter which one you null. They give you two ways to figure this one out. So it's union, all select, select everything. Three of those are going to be null. Null, null, everything, null from email. The third column out of that table called email are the email addresses. We are going to take these emails and we are going to copy them. Okay. We do have to go back to our, oops, go back to our realistic missions because uh, remember, uh, in fact, we can actually even go back to just hack this site.org. Because remember, it told us that we needed to email save the whales. So this took me a while to kind of figure out because I never went here. You got to go to your name, click on your name, and they've changed it. Um, I think you go to my information. Oh, I love Fire Weasel. Oh, it's just my information. It's not inside of there. I got to remember where it's at. That's my avatar. Oh, I think you click on your name there. There you go. You click on your name. Send a message to. Well, we have to send a message to save the whales. And we paste in the email addresses. I'll just put a subject, you know, email uh, addresses. Oops, went too far. I will send it and you should get a congratulations you have successfully completed realistic four that one's a really interesting one I, I like that one a lot I, I got a little caught up on the tables uh, when I first did it because just the way they wrote it uh, the information for the coats and all are inside the same table and I just wasn't used to anybody doing anything that halfway but uh, that's how you do a SQL injection alrighty my friends well I hope that helped you out let's take a quick look at what our next realistic mission is we are gonna get into the damn telemarketers they're invading people's privacy, peace and quiet. Get the password for the admin section to delete their database and return the privacy of their victims. So now we're not only going to pull something from a database, but we are going to delete a database. Uh, difficulty rating is still moderate. Six, we get into hard ones. So, all right. So I hope this one helped you out. And uh, definitely let me know if it did. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Drop me some comments. I love talking to you guys. And uh, just let me know what I can do. But be on the lookout for uh, uh, hacking some telemarketers coming up. We're going to all enjoy this one. Alright, until then, have a great night.